right here at the water treatment facility at the Meadowlark neighborhood. Crews were inside this facility Wednesday working on the water system, but they say it could be another two weeks before the water is actually fixed. That's because they're waiting on that filter system. But that being said, residents who live here are still not satisfied with that time frame. They can't drink their water and they're finding it hard to do basic things like wash and shower with it. A look inside Meadowlark's water treatment plant shows pipes, meters and tanks running as normal. But that fix for discolored water is still days away. While you know, it's not the ideal situation to have to wait on them, that's really the only option we have is to wait for the parts. Lisa Kaufman with the DQ says that part is meant to filter out iron and manganese, which discolors the water. It doesn't mean that it's not safe. It just means nobody wants to drink it because it looks yucky. The agency started fielding formal requests back in December about the water, so inspectors came out to investigate. But a quick search of Meadowlark's testing shows... And for at least the last 10 years, they have had no bad bacteriological samples. Still, there's concerns. Jennifer Madden has lived here for 10 years. Yeah. And I don't think we're being told the whole story. She says water began pouring brown back in October. She, along with others, have too many questions they say aren't being answered. It is not fair to anybody, and most of us out here have kids. Even though the mobile park owners say they're handing out bottled water, she's found herself having to purchase it. I probably go through five cases a week at least. A company called Haven Park purchased Meadowlark back in 2020, and they say the well system is more than 60 years old. It's showing its age. A spokesperson for the company said in a statement that water samples are sent out each month and tests have always come back safe. So we've never had it this bad. But while Meadowlark waits for that filter system to arrive, reality sets in every day for those residents. So, and we're showering in the water that's in the tap. Every time Madden's kids use the bathroom, she fills up her coffee maker or the washer is going, She's reminded of the damage she says the water is doing to her home. I think that there's an issue with it um, that we're not being told. While the DEQ waits for results, Kaufman says she has no reason to believe they'll show the water is unsafe. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.